hey everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope everybody has been doing good if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Kay, and in today's video i am bringing you a halloween theme press on nail set and the theme that i'm using today is the movie scream for those of you that don't know it is a horror movie so if you are interested in doing these press-ons or see how i did it make sure you guys watch until the end and if you do and enjoyed it please smash that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime i post and of course guys share 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 all right let's get to the video all right you guys so before we start of course like always I'm going to start with my Valentino base coat and after that I'm going to start with the design and the first color that I'm actually going to be using is going to be 048 from Valentino which is their black nail polish so I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats of the black and cure it two times for two minutes going in i'm going to be using my nude nail polish from ijo beauty which is 170 nude bar and it is a nice sheer nude um in this set i only did two layers and it's still pretty see-through but i like the way it looks so i left it that way So now that I'm finished with both base colors, I am going to go in with Valentino Beauty Pure 002 and 004 and I'm going to be mixing these colors to make blood. Alright guys, so as you can see, I am starting with the nail art. And my first nail art is going to be some blood drips. Um, believe it or not, this takes some sort of skill because the first time I did them, they do not look how they look now. So definitely be patient with yourself, guys. I've been finding myself doing a lot of nail art lately and I am enjoying it a lot. So, you know, I may not be the best, but just keep practicing, guys. So now I'm just adding a, a few extra drips of blood, only because it looked a little plain. Now I'm going in with the pinky nail, and I'm just painting some open wounds, and I'm going to put blood all over them. Right now, I am going in with 003, and I'm using this color just to make it, or give it like a darker blood effect. I'm going to be using this brush to do the blood spatter so what I do is I just tap it on the nail I feel like it's the less messier way I don't like things to get too messy and honestly I like the results that it gave me so try out this method guys and if you do let me know in the comments below So after curing 003, I am going to be going in with the top coat right away only because I don't want anything to fall on these nails and they actually came out pretty good. So this is how they looked after I cured them. So now I'm going to be going in with the rest of the nails. 
So I'm going to be starting off with the thumb. And as you can see, I'm not doing it straight. I'm giving it a little bit of a wiggly line so it could give it a spooky effect. I'm going to be going in with my top coat and 004 and I'm going to mix these two together so it could give it kind of like a jelly effect and I'm going to trace the word with that so it could look like there's blood on it. I'm going back in with the brush just to give it a little bit of blood spatter. Right now I am starting to trace the face of the mask and it was a little bit of an awkward shape so it took me a few tries but at the end I was happy with the result that I got. So I started making these blood drops here because I felt like it looked too plain and I felt like I needed a little bit of color so I went ahead and did two tears on each side. Alrighty guys, we are almost at the end. I have one more nail left, which is my ring finger. So I'm going to be going in and attempting to do a knife design. Alright guys, so here is my little knife. And the colors that I used was 011 from Valentino Beauty Pure and 013 for the handle so now i'm going in with a few blood designs to make it look a little real and just a little bit of detail Alright guys, and here you have it, the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you liked this set, don't forget to hit that like button, and let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post. And of course, share, share, share guys. See you in the next one. Bye.